Welcome to the learning module of Nirmala College for Women, Coimbatore. I'm Ms. J. Antoinette Luciana Sherin, Assistant Professor from the Department of Chemistry. Let us see about the fuels and its classifications in this video. For an outline, we will discuss about the introduction of fuels, the requirement of a good fuel and the classification of fuels. Fuels are combustible substances containing carbon as the major constituent, liberating a large amount of heat on burning. The term combustion can be defined as the high temperature exothermic chemical reaction between atoms of carbon and hydrogen of the fuel and oxygen in the atmosphere. Fuel used in our daily lives in various forms such as transportation, heating and cooking, electric power, nuclear reactions, etc. Let now, us discuss about the characteristics of a good fuel. A good fuel should have the following characteristics or in other words, it should possess the following qualities. A good fuel should have a high calorific value. The amount of heat liberated when a unit mass of fuel is burnt is known as the calorific value. So, a good fuel should liberate a large amount of heat. A low moisture content. The moisture content of a good fuel should be very low because generally moisture or water requires a large amount of heat to raise its temperature and to change from liquid to vapor. This in turn takes time for the fuel to be heated rather than to be involved in the combustion process. Moderate ignition temperature. The lowest temperature at which a combustible substance when heated catches fire and continues to burn is known as the ignition temperature. If the temperature of the fuel is lower than the ignition temperature, it will not catch fire. Thus, ignition temperature plays a major role in selecting the type of the substance to be used as a fuel. Non-combustible matter A good fuel should contain low non-combustible matter that is ash, dust particles, sand, mud, etc. The presence of such impurities do not add up to the heat value and increases the cost of storage, handling and disposal. Controllable process The combustion process should be controllable. The nature of the fuel substance should be such that we are able to start and stop the combustion process whenever necessary. This is to ensure optimal operation, safety, pollution control and operation efficiency. No offensive order. In other words, no release of gases, toxic gases or matter etc. Generally, the release of toxic or poisonous gases result due to the incomplete combustion of materials. This in turn affects the environment leading to the pollution in air, adverse effects to the aquatic organisms and thereby affecting the normal structure of the environment. It also leads to dangerous health issues to human beings such as respiratory problems, nervous problems, etc. The Velocity of Fission There should be a model moderate velocity of combustion. In case of the velocity being very slow, the time taken to complete the process will be more. In case of high speed of combustion, there may be incomplete combustion leading to the release of toxic matter. Hence, the velocity of combustion should be moderate. These are the qualities that a good fuel should be possessing. Moving forward, let us get into the classification of fuels. Fuels are classified into two major categories. One is based on the physical state and the other is based on the occurrence. Fuels appear in three physical states. 
the solid fuels the liquid fuels and the gaseous fuels secondly on the basis of occurrence fuels are either naturally occurring or artificial or man made here are some of the examples of solid fuels wood coal and peat some examples of gaseous fuels are coal gas water gas and biogas this slide shows the examples of some of the natural or artificial fuels thank you for watching this video